Hello and welcome back to Outdoor Cooking Adventures with Kenny Man Raj. Today I'm in the Santa Fe National Forest and I am with my good friend Matt the Southwest Backpacker. Hey. Thank you bud for yeah. being here. Matt usually is a huge help to me behind the scenes. He runs the cameras, makes sure things are right and I can't say enough about his help and I really appreciate that. Um, I couldn't do it without him basically. So today is going to be Matt's turn. And uh, I'm going to hold the camera, and Matt's going to do his magic on, uh, well, Matt, tell us what you're going to do, bud. All right, today we're uh, going to make a dish called discada. And discada is basically a stir fry of a bunch of different meats put together with uh, some onions, garlic. Uh, sometimes you put some peppers in there. I'll show you guys what we're going to put together, my version of discada anyway and we cook it on a disc, a big giant tractor plow disc. And uh, the one I've got today that you guys will see is uh, the Rio Grande from Southwest Disc here in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Southwest Discs in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. They're the ones that make the discs there, www.southwestdisc.com. Excellent. Dot com. Give them a prop because it's well worth yeah. it. This is the first time yeah. I've seen it. It yeah, looks like a cool toy. They, they didn't pay us to do this. I just bought it from there and wanted to share it with you guys because uh, a lot of people have asked where I got it from and that's where I got it from. Well, right on, but, dude. Yeah, okay. today, today we're going to cook on it and I'm going to show you guys uh, my version of discada. All right, excellent. Well, hang in with us and we'll uh, go over the ingredients and we'll let this guy go to work. Hang in there. Okay guys, before we throw this on the disc, uh, I just wanted to go over the ingredients that goes into my version of discata. So I uh, wanted to start here with the bacon. That's going to go in first, that's going to be our first step. That's a whole pack of bacon right there. And uh, I chopped it up into uh, small little cubes to make it easier to, to cook up on the disc. And uh, then over here we've got some uh, pork caldillo. And we've also got some beef caldillo, and we're going to use both of those. Uh, cook that up. We also have some uh, pork and beef chorizo. And that's going to give this whole thing a bunch of flavor, which will taste really good. We've got uh, some chopped up russet potatoes. I think there's about a potato and a half right there. And uh, we also have some chopped up fresh white onion there. That's also going to go into the mix and uh, later on we're going to put in some uh, hatch green chili. Got the hot stuff so uh, definitely want to throw in your chili mix here. Normally uh, in the original recipe you would throw in a, hab uh, a habanero or a jalapeno and you wouldn't cut it open. You would just put it in there for flavor unless you wanted the heat and then of course you would chop it up and put it in there. Since we all like heat here and we all like green chili we're going to use chili instead of uh, jalapeno. Yeah, so uh, yeah, now that we went over uh, all of the ingredients, we uh, fired up the dish over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to cook on the dish now. So what we're going to do, step one, we're going to start with our bacon. We're going to start with the old bacon. Let me grab a uh, spatula right here. Throw it on the disc. I've already oiled this up and it's been uh, preheated, so sounds real nice. What I'm going to do is let that cook up and let uh, this bacon basically uh, render and get all of the, the, the fat and the grease out of there. And uh, we'll cook this up, set it to the side, and start with step two. What I'm trying to do is just keep that bacon spinning around and uh, moving around so it doesn't burn. Actually turn the heat down just a little bit. And uh, I want to try to cook this like bacon you do at home. You know, you flip it on both sides and cook it till it gets crispy brown. But uh, since we got little bacon bits here, what I like to do is just kind of flatten it out on the bottom of the disc. Let it sit there for 30 seconds or so and then get in here and spin it around and do the same thing and just keep going until uh, we start rendering out all of the bacon fat out of there 
and the meat starts cooking and once the meat's cooked we're going to slide it off to the side and add in our next ingredient which will be our uh, potatoes and uh, then our onions so stay tuned <laughs> okay I think our bacon looks pretty good I like it nice and crispy like that and you can usually tell when bacon's done when uh, you see all this foamy bubbles come out you know that's usually a good sign when uh, your bacon's done so uh, yeah what I'm gonna do is go ahead and slide this off on the disc here and I'll just bring it up this direction let all of that uh, all of that fat drip down there into the bottom and we're gonna use that for uh, cooking our potatoes and our onions and uh, we'll go from there but yeah that bacon looks nice it's nice and crispy the meat is nice and red and uh, no no gristle on this stuff so yeah this is just the way I like it we'll slide this up uh, over here and we'll go ahead and add our next ingredient which is going to be the potatoes and the onions all right, so now that we got that bacon done, I'm going to go ahead and start with the onions. Grab our chopped white onions here and bring it right over to the disc. So I'm just going to throw it right in there, right into the grease. Just like so. See that nice and hot that's cooking up. We want to caramelize those and brown those up real nice. Keep them stirring so that uh, nothing burns. But wow, that smells really good. I know I'm not supposed to say anything, but it does smell good. <laughs> smells great. And uh, this won't take terribly long to cook, but I want to throw those in there first, and then I want to pull those out, and we'll put the potatoes in next. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. That's step two of our uh, discada. All right, those onions look nice and golden and uh, they're transparent, translucent. You can see through them now. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just like the bacon, I'm gonna slide it off up here to the side. And let all of that uh, bacon fat, bacon grease render uh, that we, we had rendered slide back down into the bottom because we're gonna need that for our potatoes. And uh, Everything that we're going to cook is basically going to be off of that bacon grease. If it starts to run out, we're going to use some of that chorizo. But uh, we're going to probably save that here after the potatoes. So I pull up all of these onions and just kind of scrape them up to the side of the disc. And they'll stay warm. Everything is still cooking on this disc, but they're not uh, burning and uh, cooking in the oil down here like it is in the bottom so yeah once I get all of this up here we'll go ahead and put in the potatoes and uh, that will be step three of our discata process stay tuned all right got the onions out of the center of the disc over there and I think we'll start next with our chopped potatoes what I did is I uh, sprinkled some of this minced garlic on there Normally I would have a regular um, whole garlic that I would chop up, maybe a couple of the cloves or whatever, but uh, the one I brought was rotten. So I'm glad I had this backup. It's just minced garlic uh, from McCormick. The dried stuff, but yeah, I want that garlic flavor. So I'm going to grab my uh, potatoes here, see if I can do both of these. And uh, we'll carry this over to the disc. Again, we'll just go ahead and throw it right down in there. Sizzling up real nice. There we go. And uh, yeah, we put that in there and we pull the, pull the onions up. Awesome. We'll stir that around. Make sure all the uh, potatoes get that grease on it. You 
You can also add uh, olive oil if you want. Which we'll probably end up doing if we don't have enough grease, but uh, I think we'll be okay. And the potatoes are going to take the longest to cook in this whole thing, so we've got another 20, 30 minutes, I think, before these potatoes are done. But once we're done with that, we'll, uh, we'll go on to the other meats that we're going to add to this. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and cook up these potatoes and uh, we'll show you more here soon. All right, as you guys can see here, the potatoes I think are nice and crispy brown. They've been cooking down here for a while. They're all softened up. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull them out of the dish and we'll move on to our next ingredient, which I think will be step four if I'm correct. Go ahead and pull this up. Okay. I have a question for you, Matt. Yes. Do you think there's going to be enough there for us to eat? Um, I'm hoping so. I'm <laughs> hoping so. I sure hope I picked up enough, but... Uh, Holy mackerel. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot here. Definitely know we'll have enough space in here. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me grab the next ingredient. What we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to do our pork and our beef chorizo. Chorizo. I think that's the how you pronounce it. Anyway, go ahead and cut the ends of these off here. Oh. They look real nasty, but uh, this gives everything flavoring. This is all about the flavoring for this dish. And uh, this will also help everything cook. It tastes really good once this stuff is all mixed in. So yeah, we'll go ahead and put a tube of the pork stuff in there and a tube of the beef stuff and we'll cook that up. It does not take very long to cook up. Maybe five minutes at the max, maybe less than that. But uh, I'll show you what this stuff looks like. When we're all done cooking up. Got the spatula. Yeah. I mash this stuff up. And uh, we'll get our flavoring going here. This stuff smells really good when it's cooking. You can see it's already starting to make some grease. Oh yeah. got to spin it. You got to keep it moving so it doesn't burn. But it won't take long. It'll thin out almost like a almost like a moly. And you'll know that that's when it's basically done. You can pull this stuff up to the side and add the rest of our meat ingredients. We can mix all this up. You can see how it's softening up. I let it just sit there for a moment. I'll kind of let it cook. And then just flip it over, kind of let it cook one more time and I'll pull it up on the side. Okay, as you can see the uh, chorizo is cooked all the way through and uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of push it off here to the side. I don't think it's gonna stick on the disc. I'm gonna go grab my meat and we'll go ahead and throw it down into the sauce there. And uh, what we got is pork and beef. It's just for stir fry kind of meat. And uh, what I'll go ahead and do is we'll open up the, uh, the pork side here. And go ahead and throw that down in there. I'll do the same with the beef. Grab the knife. If you could only smell what I am smelling. It smells incredible. It smells incredible. All right. So now we can cook this up kind of in with the chorizo. 
and that is going to give it a ton of flavoring and as you can see that is quite a bit of uh, ingredients but we'll center that and we'll let that cook up for another 10 minutes or so and then we'll slide all of this in and mix it up and we'll show you uh, what all that looks like here uh, moments away thumbs up all right it's been about 20 minutes or so we've got the beef and the pork cooking up here and the chorizo and everything's looking pretty good everything's looking pretty good I think I'm gonna go ahead and stir it and you can see it's cooking quite well got all this wonderful flavoring down here so I think this is all cooked this all looks pretty well done the meats tender and so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mix all of this in together and uh, we'll get everything in the flavoring so we'll go ahead and put in the bacon and get the onions we started out with earlier basically just get everything in there potatoes we'll stir that up we'll let everything cook maybe another 10-15 minutes and this will be ready to eat Gonna mix that in there and show you guys what it looks like when it's all mixed up. This would make a really good breakfast meal. And the original biscotta, it has uh, chopped hot dogs, Mexican hot dogs. But uh, we didn't have any hot dogs, so yeah, we just made this without the hot dogs this time. But uh, still, this is a great way to do it. We have a can of green chili that I'm probably going to throw in here next. So I'll open that up and throw in our can of Hatch Green Chili and keep this going. Yeah. All right, we got everything cooked in there. Uh, everything for the most part is cooked. We're gonna let that sit in there while we uh, eat up some tortillas, corn tortillas from New Mexico Tortilla Company. But you can use any corn tortillas or if you want flour tortillas. But we're going to stick a few of these around the disc and warm them up. Kind of cook these guys so that uh, we have sort of a taco when this is all said and done. But this disc will keep them nice and warm and actually cook them. And as we go along, I'll flip them around and spin them and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this should be uh, plenty for three of us. This is probably enough for about six people worth of food, but we'll see how much we can get through this. <laughs> anyway, that is basically the last step. Put your tortillas around here and let those heat up. We'll flip them over one more time and stir this guy up and we'll be ready to serve this up and eat. Stay tuned. All right, you guys can see the tortillas are kind of splitting on one side that's a good indication to go ahead and flip them over and we'll go ahead and do this real quick we're gonna stir our discata there we go all of them got a flip we're gonna stir the discata one more time it's cooking it's car uh, caramelizing there on the bottom it's looking really good it's smelling really good. We're five minutes away from eating this, guys. Look oh, at that. Yeah, that does smell excellent. All right, we'll let that sit for about uh, five, seven minutes, and then uh, we'll go ahead and serve this up. All right, we're coming to the end of our cooking adventure here with my buddy Matt, the Southwest Backpacker. Um, we're gonna, he's gonna add a few last finishing touches. What are you going on there, Matt? Uh, I got some shredded cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and just add maybe half of this disc here with shredded cheese so that uh, the other half, if anybody doesn't want cheese on it, it's there. I also have uh, some cilantro, some freshly cut cilantro, and that, uh, that tastes great. I'm gonna add it to the whole thing because that is a nice fresh taste to it and we're basically done we can dish this up and uh, put it in these corn tortillas 
and a little bit of some uh, red salsa or green salsa, whatever you prefer. It, dude, it's time for dinner. I'm hungry. Yeah, just it got it. Smells Let's so it. good. I Let's can't resist it. any longer. All right. Really good. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Well, excellent. I don't know what to say other than a two thumbs up. Matt, you did a great job. Thank you. I'm impressed. You. Yeah. I'm very, impressed. Very delicious. Pretty easy to make. Potatoes take the longest, but uh, yeah, fun to cook on the disc and easy, you guys e enjoy it. Easy meal to make it look like. Very, it, it, very it's a little time consuming. It takes a while, but it's an easy meal to make. Um, Who's the manufacturer of our disc again? Let's give them a prop because without the disc, this meal would not be possible. So it's uh, Southwest Disc, and it's not D-I-S-C, but it's D-I-S-K, Southwest Disc, D-I-S-K dot com. And uh, they have all kinds of different sizes. They got the 24 inch, they've got a 22 inch, an 18 inch, even think they go down to 14 inch. All made in America, here in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And uh, the owner is a uh, veteran, so it's a uh, veteran owned and very good company. So if you're looking to get a all the more reason gifts yeah. that'll last you a lifetime, you can pass it down to your uh, kids and they can pass it down to their kids. Uh, stop over at southwestdisc.com and check out their discs, man. They're, uh, they're awesome. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. And I, you know, and that being said, I'm going to get one. I'm going to, I live in Rio Rancho, so. I like patronizing our local businesses, and I am going to get one. And uh, that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, version of Outdoor Cooking Adventures with Candyman Raj and my buddy Matt. This is Matt's recipe. Turned him loose. He didn't disappoint, man. You kicked butt, dude. I appreciate it. Mm, I'll um, share it with you guys. Questions or comments to me or Matt, be sure and let us know. Um, if you're not a subscriber, to subscribe. And... Uh, Stay tuned for the next outdoor cooking adventures with Canyon Man Raj and Southwest Back Southwest Backpack is always working in the background. I can't let him leave him out. So appreciate him. Alright, thanks for watching guys.